In motorcycle apparel is typically a trade-off between performance and style. You want to look good, but you also want to make sure you're safe as well as comfortable, especially as the fall season begins ushering in cooler temperatures. Now, the gear that I typically wear when I'm around town or out with friends is not the same gear I wear when I'm going back and forth to the office because I need to make sure I can maintain professional attire once I reach the workplace. A layered textile jacket works really well this time of year. I like the new Revit Sand Urban. It's a perfect example of the style of jacket you should be considering. It's got a thermal layer to help regulate warmth as well as a waterproof liner both of which are gonna be removable, so on warmer days, I can pull them out and I can get better airflow. And because they can be used independently of one another, I can then add them back in as the weather dictates. Now, I also paired this jacket up with some overpants, which can be worn right over top of my office attire. Colder temperatures are gonna typically prevent most people from riding, but if you're like me, you wanna make the effort to ride all winter long. And that's where base layers are gonna come into play. They're gonna be available for a variety of different climates, and they really work to regulate temperatures to cool you down or warm you up, it all depends on what you're looking for. Now, I think Climb does a great job with their layers. They're gonna use a numbering system, and it makes it super simple to understand the level of warmth that you're gonna be getting with each piece. Gloves are also gonna be a consideration for you, and there's two ways you can go about this. On one hand, you can go with two separate pairs of gloves. You can bring a waterproof thermal glove to help keep you warm and dry, then you can carry a separate glove which maximizes ventilation, or you can do what I've done, you can get a pair of dual chamber gloves. Something like the Held Air and Dries have two chambers actually built into the glove. One of the chambers is going to maximize airflow when it's warmer out. And there's a secondary chamber which adds a waterproof membrane that'll help keep you dry as well as warm if the temperatures begin to cool off. Extra storage comes in handy when you're commuting. And in this case, a top box is my favorite piece of commuting luggage. And I say that because it's a perfect size for a helmet, my laptop, or simply a place to keep a few extra layers as the day warms up. Plus, it's going to be easier to use in traffic as it doesn't add width to my bike the way the side cases do. If I'm being honest, style's gonna take a front seat to performance when I'm not commuting back and forth to the office. And that's because normally, I'm just riding around town at slower speeds, I'm not hopping on the highway, and I'm willing to sacrifice a bit of protection to give myself gear that matches more of my personal aesthetic. I like stuff that has more of a casual look, like my everyday clothing. For instance, this speedy textile limited jacket looks like something I would wear just hanging out in my garage or hitting up the bar with my friends. It's gonna sacrifice a bit of high-speed abrasion resistance, but it still provides impact protection, and the armor that Speedy uses in this jacket is actually extremely thin and comfortable. It has no insulation, but if the temperature drops, I just throw a hoodie on underneath of it, and I go. Riding jeans were not my cup of tea when they were first introduced. I felt like they looked forced and cheesy, nothing like the Levi's I wear every day. However, that's changed over the past few years, and there's now plenty of options to choose from with varying levels of protection and style, and brands like Saint make jeans that could easily pass for my good old 5.11s. I don't have armor like I do in my commuting pants, but I do have six seconds of abrasion resistance. I don't like wearing waterproof boots in the summertime because I find them run too hot. However, they're a great option for the fall, and there's a lot of different work boot styles out there like these TCX Hero boots that really give you CE rated protection, but with a classic style. So depending on the kind of bike you're on, you might not have a lot of options for storage. Riding backpacks are different than that old Jansport I used to haul around in high school. They typically offer features specific to riders, like better weight distribution and comfort. Some will focus on utility with waterproof compartments, while other brands place a premium on style. Bags like the 28 liter option from Velomaki offer the best of both worlds. This is going to be a waterproof bag that's also comfortable to wear all day on the bike, and it's got a unique and stylish look. Fall is arguably the best time of year to ride, and there's no shortage of gear for you to wear this season. Regardless of what balance of protection style you're looking for as the temperature begins to drop, make sure you check out our expert curated collections at Revzilla. Our experts ride year round, and they work really hard to highlight the best options for you to wear this fall season.